Brian Byro, and I'm called America's Breakthrough Coach. And I got to tell you, I love that name because my whole life, everything that I do is really focused on trying to help everyone that I have a chance to touch to break through those fears, those obstacles, those habits or doubts that keep them from what's really inside of them. And I think I'm extra known for being called America's Breakthrough Coach because I really believe that when we hear, we forget. When we see, we're more likely to remember, but it's really when we do that we understand. So I want to create an environment in my events where people actually break through, where they do something they didn't know they could do. When they break through that uncertainty, that's really the thing that we must break through. And so in virtually all my events, I have participants actually break through one inch thick boards, wooden boards. And it's the most awesome experience. It's a combination individual and team experience. The individual part is about the metaphor of breaking through. Every person writes on the board something they want to break through. A limit, fear, obstacle, habit, or doubt. Fear of failure, procrastination, anger, impatience, doubt, right? lack of confidence. And so the individual part of the breakthrough is related to that meaning. And I've had people have amazing breakthroughs from that experience. I've had people who, who came into that event with holding a grudge, a blame of somebody else in their life and break through that and forgive. I've had women write to me that they were no longer going to allow themselves ever to be abused because of what they felt as they broke through that board. The team part of the breakthrough is equally as exciting because I have never seen people come together and cheer for each other like they do in the process of breaking that board. We want each other to break through. We don't have to know what it is they're breaking through. We just know we want them to feel that sense of I can do more than I thought I could when I woke up this morning. And so the breakthrough experience combines that individual and team experience into something that is absolutely sticks inside of you. You never forget it. One of the most important keys to breaking through is about focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. And in all of my events, I choose the first person to break the first board. I never know who it will be until the moment I choose them. Many years ago, I was doing an event, and the person that my heart was guided to break that first board was about 300 people for a company. And the person that I was guided to was a 65-year-old man who was blind. Now, I knew he was older. I knew he was blind. What I didn't know about him until after the seminar when two of his teammates came up to me and told me this man's story was that this 65-year-old blind sales professional had raised five sighted daughters as a single blind parent. Yeah. And every one of those daughters were excelling in their lives. The guy was a living legend. He also had the single coolest dog I've ever met. Uh, his seeing eye dog was the only dog I've actually met who spoke English. Because when I pulled the blind guy out to break that first board, I know I heard that dog say distinctly right to me, are you sure about this, buddy? If you fail, I'm eating you. This dog was so uptight. He could sense his dog's unrest. He settled the dog down. I bring him to the center of the circle. 300 people around us cheering their hearts out. I have to let him feel where the board will be. I have to use my voice to guide him to where he's going to break through. With 300 people cheering so loud, I don't think my ears have recovered since. This blind, incredible man flew through the board on the first try like a piece of paper. And there wasn't a dry eye in the house. But you know what he asked me almost instantly? As everybody stood there with their mouths agape and tears running down their cheeks, he asked me, did I do it? And then he said, I didn't even feel it. If you know anyone who's blind, you know something about them. That is that their sense of touch is remarkably acute. More, much more acute than most of our vision. It has to be. That's the way that they read. That's the way that a blind person finds their way. This man with this incredible sense of touch did not feel the obstacle. Why? Because he had a genius that we can all model starting today. You see, at the moment of his potential breakthrough, his woo, his window of opportunity, all he focused on was what he wanted. He focused on the breakthrough, not the obstacle. So let me get personal. Are you focusing 90% or more of your creative vision on trying to avoid something you don't want? That's called focusing on the board. And what you focus on is what you create. You'll get lots of board. Or are you focusing 90% or more of your creative vision on creating what it is you do want? That's focusing on the breakthrough. So in your life, you have a chance to have breakthroughs every day. Those windows of opportunity are not occasional. They are always with us. And one of the most important principles to do so is to get fully committed to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want.